What's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends reveal video on the Amazon exclusive Marvel Legends West Coast Avengers box set. Uh, before we really get into this set over here, just to clear some things up, uh, these figures right here are not the same body mold. It was this picture right here that made me think that they were. I figured Blur was leaning a little forward with that ab crunch, uh, but nope, they have different bodies. Updated Sunfire body mold on Blur, Vulcan body mold right there on Nighthawk. Also, we have a Whatnot giveaway tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for a brand new set of Toy Biz Marvel Legends Sentinel build a, build a figure wave figures just arrived in my P.O. box. I'm going to pick it up today. That giveaway is tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hope to see you there on Whatnot. Anyway, back to this set right over here. I have all of these characters already. Uh, I personally don't really have to have this set. Just to put it out there, I don't have to have it. But do I want it? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, I do. Especially because of that Tigra right over there, which I already have. And the color scheme right here, yes, it looks so much better than the last one. I don't think Hasbro botched the first one on purpose so that they could re-release it again. I know there's people that think that way. I don't think they have that level of darkness in their hearts to purposefully botch a figure just so that they could sell another one. I'm sure they try to seize opportunities to get a second release out there if they want to, but I don't think they personally or purposefully make mistakes with their figures so that they could cash in on it. I don't know. Some may believe that, but I don't think they did this one on purpose anyway. That's my point because, man, look, look, check out my collection over here. Look how much she looks like she's on fire compared to Nova over there. And, yeah, I got my Silver Surfer not falling off of Galactus finally. It's been kind of a while, so it's only been about 24 hours, <laughs> which is the longest run that Silver Surfer has had. I know I have him on the wrong hands, but that's the way I want my display. So, yeah, look how bright and orange she is. Also, another figure that we're getting in this set is is Mockingbird in her classic attire, and this looks pretty good to me. I'm happy to have this. This is what I wanted. I've wanted this for quite a while. I think she's a little bit more covered up uh, in the top half, which I'm used to now these days. It, it, for the most accurate looks on these figures, to be honest with you, but I know I'm the odd man out on this one, you know, so for us, you know, for the for me and you other cochinos out there, we gotta take a knee sometimes, I guess, because society is, you know, it is what it is now. You know what I mean? And she looks like she's gonna be packed with all the accessories. She's got the baton and the staff right there, looking pretty cool, which we've seen before. I'm not happy about the single jointed elbows. That does, you know, that doesn't really make me happy. And I feel like uh, th there's something weird going on with the elbows over here. Uh, I don't know how to pin it's the sleeves and the elbows. I felt like that was supposed to be around the wrist where it, it hangs loose like that, but I could be wrong. I'm going to see if I can remember to throw up an image over here um, if I don't forget. But yeah, I prefer having this over the more modern one that I have on the shelf. I've been wanting a classic Mockingbird for a while. So, yeah, happy to have this one also. And then we have the Julia Carpenter Spider-Woman over here, which the hair, I guess you could say is directly inspired by somebody's artwork, but I'm not feeling it. I feel like they got the color off a little bit. I thought it was supposed to be more like a red hair color. And I do like the body mold, but the head sculpt is throwing me off. I'm not really liking that hair sculpt. It, it's a little much on the top right there. It's like whoever sculpted that ugly invisible woman is the same person who sculpted this right here, it feels like. Right? I I, I don't know. So for this is the one I'm least looking forward to. However, she does have the pinless double jointed elbows and the pinless double jointed knees. I have two of the other Julia Carpenters, so I'll probably just get this figure to head swap with, you know, the older head sculpt and put that on there. So, you know, I, I prefer having, you know, more articulation on the figure figures. The other one doesn't have the double jointed elbows. So I'm happy to include her on the shelf uh, and either on the Avenger shelf or the spider shelf or spider ceiling. And then we have a Silver Centurion Iron Man in this set as well. And they've kind of gone like what they did with the War Machine vintage or the retro carded War Machine. They, they gave him a set of silver. They went with white over here for the limbs. I guess that works. It looks okay. It's one of those things where I'd have to see it in person. I like the one that I have right now. I prefer having silver on my silver Centurion figures. So 
so for me this is like i i can't say i prefer this aesthetic compared to the first version you have the pin joints over there uh so there's that too the arc reactor looks like they did something a little extra special but yeah i like the first version just fine this one right here it's like uh now i'm now i gotta think of where i'm gonna put it you know what i mean or i may just sell it on whatnot where i sell my ex extra action figures so uh i recommend selling your extra figures you guys it's one thing that i've always done you can go all the way back to the beginning of this youtube channel i've always been selling trading figures you know what i mean especially so much stuff coming in stuff has to go out as well so i encourage it anyway uh lastly we have uh off duty hank pym i you know what i don't i haven't read enough west coast avengers to like even remember hank pym like hanging out like this all the time or there being a time i guess like maybe when he quit being ant-man for a minute and then this is what we got but uh it's mostly red skull slash dormammu parts on this figure except for the torso and the head I think that torso is all brand new right over there. Very street human Z kind of look, you know, which I don't mind. I, I like, you know, the more street level looking uh, casual civilian attire on the figures. So it very much has that mechanic look. I think it looks cool. I like this. I, I like what I'm seeing over here. Um, I saw somewhere somebody could said something like, oh, yeah, you could easily slap a Professor X head on there. That would be great. I was like, whoa, that's a cool idea. I like that. So you can use this for a lot of characters if you don't want to use it for Hank Pym. You know, I, I could totally see that. So, yeah, uh, I think it's pretty decent offering over here. Not that crazy interesting. It, I forgot what the details were saying about the accessories. It says, like, there's 11, you know, comic-inspired accessories. I don't really pay attention to that so much because, you know, like, while hands do count as an accessory, it's like that number gets lost on me because... It's not that interesting of an accessory having interchangeable hands while necessary i do want them it's like oh yeah the hands accessory I forgot to count those i don't know it, the, the number of actual accessories gets lost on me when they include interchangeable hands that's just me or interchangeable heads too i guess but anyway i want to know what you guys think this is going to be available for pre-order on amazon tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific time 1 p.m eastern standard time it's supposed to be releasing in the fall and it's going to retail for 124.99 making this a sweet sweet 25 dollars a figure <laughs> oh god 25 dollars a figure still feels like a lot to me bro when they're just a basic offering like this you know so that's where they're pricing them right now 25 bucks a pop that's what you're looking at for your marvel legends figures and uh, you can take it or leave it or you could take it and sell off the figures that you don't like. You know what I mean? Like I said, I recommend cherry picking, you know. For me, I'm probably going to keep them all. You know, I'm probably going to hang on to all of them. That's just for me. Uh, but everybody, you know, should have their collection the way they want their collection and not, you know. I, I, I don't really believe in uh, the, the completionist mentality you know what i mean get what you want enjoy what you want to enjoy hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i have more coming to the channel soon so stay tuned for that whenever the next post is i have a lot of stuff going on today got a lot of things to do but uh hopefully i have another video later today if i don't well you'll see one on the channel tomorrow thanks for watching and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.